I'm going to talk to you about the export wizard in Fireworks, which is a useful tool if you have an image that you'll be placing up on a website. Um, what it does is it strikes a good balance between keeping the image a high quality so you don't lose any detail in your image, but it also makes the file smaller so that websites can load it a little quicker or a little bit easier. Um, if you've also created any hotspots, this is the tool you'll use later on in Fireworks if you are putting any Fireworks pages into uh, Dreamweaver. But right now I'm just going to concentrate on doing one image at a time. This is my um, timeline that I showed you in class the other day as an example. And I'm just going to use the export wizard to get the best settings if I were to place this onto a web page. So to do that, you just go up to File and Export Wizard. And you can either choose a specific size down here at the bottom, or you can tell Fireworks what format you want it to use, and then it will choose the best uh, file size. So I'm going to do select and export format, continue, and um, I'm going to choose the web. Okay, this just tells me that um, it would recommend either a GIF or a JPEG format, and I click export to view my options. Now, I'm not sure how well this looks in your video, since it's probably a little blurry anyway. But what this does is it shows me two different options. Uh, JPEG at the top, and it tells me that uh, this is a file size of about 58K, and it'll take about 9 seconds to load at a 56 kilobyte per second download rate. That's about what a dial-up internet would be, would take about 9 seconds. Down on the bottom is a GIF. It's about twice as big and it takes about twice as long. If I look at my image, I can see there's a big loss of quality. There are some very um, awkward colors that don't show through in this GIF image down at the bottom. I can move it around to look at different aspects. Most of it looks okay, but this part especially up here on the upper left there's a big loss of quality there. So what I'm going to choose is the JPEG at the top. It's going to load quicker and um, I think it's just a better option for my um, web page. Now I can also choose a smaller JPEG to see what that would look like. This reduced the file size even more to 25K, 4 seconds to load. Um, but when I look at the details, I think I like the better quality uh, a little bit more. So you also have some choices you can make here. Now I click export and um, I just choose a file location. Uh, I'm going to save it to my desktop right now. And this time I'm going to choose images only. Later on, you might choose HTML and images, especially if, you, um, if you've been doing some interactive web type things. I'm going to call this my timeline and export. So all that's done is create a new file separate from my PNG file. PNG is the Fireworks normal format. It's now in JPEG, which is a little bit easier to load. Um, I'm going to open that JPEG file from my desktop. Remember I called it Timeline. So this is my new file. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit there. I can also preview this in my browser if I want to see exactly what it would look like in my browser. So I can go to File, Preview in Browser, um, I usually use Firefox, but you can choose Internet Explorer, anything you'd like. And this now shows me exactly what this image would look like, the size that it is, 
in my browser. So just one last final check you can do if you're interested.